What's up guys, MGH here and welcome to a new series. It's a little bit of an odd thing this. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time. However, I never really got around to doing it. Now basically, let me explain what it's all about. You'll see by the title, it's about the career mode updates that happen every single week on Friday. If you didn't know, the career mode database every single Friday, every single week is updated. Some players get improved, some players get downgraded and you know you get potential overalls and things like that changed on all the players across the database and every Friday I love to check and see which players have been upgraded which players have been downgraded and I thought today while I was checking it I should be making a video on this it's something I've wanted to do for so long so every single week on the weekend because unfortunately most websites cannot show all of the database until the Saturday or the Sunday after the updates actually drop I will be making a video just like this and we'll be going through the main differences, not every single change, because otherwise we'd be here forever. But pretty much all the big changes I'll be showing you in a video every single weekend. So sit back, relax, and let's find out which players have been upgraded and which players have been downgraded. So up first, we have a goalkeeper from Dortmund. That is Weidenfeller. His overall has gone down to 82. He's gone down by one, and that means his potential has gone down by one as well. A um, bit of a shame because I still think he's a fantastic goalkeeper. If we look at his stats as well, you'll see here that his positioning has gone down by five. Those are the only stat changes. So it's sad to see that, but obviously Dortmund have been struggling this year. We then have another goalkeeper. This time it's Diego Lopez from AC Milan. He's gone down to 81, meaning his potential has also gone down by one as well. And if you look at his stats... He's lost two on goalkeeper handling, and he's lost six on goalkeeper kicking. Very sad to see. This guy was amazing at Real Madrid, but slowly, I guess, with his age and going down a step in club. I know, I'm sorry, you know, AC Milan isn't as good as Real Madrid, let's be honest. Um, he's going to be starting to drop, I think. Another downgrade we're seeing this, this week is uh, Valero from Fiorentina. Fiorentina just lost. Uh, Quadrado as well which is a big hit for them but not only that one of their main midfielders has now gone down to 81 and you can see he's had a lot of stats reduced which is really sad to see he's a very solid you know defensive midfielder central midfielder whatever you want to call him he's lost one across a lot of his stats there so unfortunately for Fiorentina they've got even weaker this week moving on we've got another downgrade it's Diego here who plays for Fenerbahce He's a bit of a, an ultimate team god, I think, isn't he, over the last few years. He's now gone down to 81, and you can see in his stats, he's also lost quite a few there. His agility and reactions have gone down majorly, and so is his dribbling and his vision and his crossing and his long passing and ball control. Such a shame, because this guy is actually a beast. It seems to be a week of downgrades, guys. We've got another one. It's Felipe Melo from Galatasaray. He's gone down by one, and so has his potential. And he's one of those midfielders in the game that is kind of good at everything. Um, but this week, he's lost quite a bit on his tackling. He's also lost a, quite a lot on his long passing, actually, down by minus three there. Um, but yeah, unfortunately for Melo, he has gone down to 80. We've got another downgrade here for Alex, another Milan player. He's gone down to 80 overall. And, you know, to be honest, his stats haven't been that good since the beginning of FIFA 15. And they've gone down even more. But despite going down in his overall, he's actually gained one in agility. He's got up to 45 agility. Wow, that is amazing. Finally, guys, we've got an upgrade. It's Musaccio from Villarreal. I think I've said that wrong. But either way, this guy, he is a solid, solid centre-back. He's been growing a lot since FIFA 14. You can see he's had a massive spike here from FIFA 14. Uh, to FIFA 15 you can see he's gone from 76 to 80 and then he steadily kind of increased up to here and he's now 80 with a potential of 86 which is great to see and the stats that have been increased are his jumping and his strength another downgrade here for a Milan player although he's just on loan from Atletico Madrid that is Cherchi you guys know I love this guy I cannot believe he's gone down in rating um, it's, it's, re it's a real shame because look you can see he kind of peaked around here and in FIFA 15, he's just gone down and down and down. And now he's below 80, which is absolutely unbelievable. But again, it's a little bit of an odd one, this. I think his position change has made a big difference. He's gone from a centre forward to a right midfield. He's lost a lot of stats, but he's also gained in his curve. A little bit of a weird one, but Churchy has gone down. And it's sad to see because I still think he's a great player. We've got another upgrade here. We've got So, who plays for Fenerbahce. He's gone up by one. 
Um, he's been very good this season. You can see he wasn't in ultimate team or career mode for quite a long time. And then he's just kind of been up and down a little bit. Um, but you can see all he's gained is four in his crossing. Now, this really is a sad one. It's Ronaldinho. He's gone down to 78 overall. It's really sad to see such a legend go down. He's lost a massive amount in jumping, acceleration, sprint speed, reaction, vision, curve, long passing, ball control, short passing. It's a real shame. It's a really heavy downgrade, that. Now, this is an interesting one. We've got Dina Tale, who's gone down once again. He went down quite early on in FIFA, but then went back up, as you can see here. And uh, he's gone down again. It's just, you know, obviously he's peaked at his career there in FIFA 10. And he's just slowly gone down. And uh, the stat changes this week, they're not too bad, to be honest. He's still very much usable with his 84 finishing, which has gone down by one. But you can see his other stats there. They're still pretty damn good. Moving on to one of my favorite players in career mode. I would put him in my top 25 now if I did a revised countdown. His name is Xhaka, or however you pronounce that. He's actually gone up by one. He's played very well midweek, clearly. And hit, look at those stats going up. His stamina's gone up by five. His long shots have gone up by six. Long passing aggression and his vision. Unfortunately, though, he's lost agility and balance. But he is a very, very good young player. I definitely recommend picking him up if you want a really good playmaking midfielder. Another upgrade now for Umtiti. He has been going up quite slowly through the last few games. You can see on the graph here. He's just steadily improved and now he is a 78 overall at the age of 20 with a potential of 84. One of the biggest downgrades of the week is Honda. He's gone now to a 77 overall with 79 potential, both going down by two. That is a big hit and uh, you can see there a lot of his stats have gone down. Look at his reactions, minus nine. I wonder what made them come to that decision. It's a little bit of an odd one. MNEK has gone down by one and so has his potential and I'm going to go through the rest of these now quite quickly so I'm not going to go through stats you guys can check them out yourself but I don't want the video to go on forever I'm barely halfway through so moving on we've got Harry Kane here he's gone up by one in his overall and two in his potential which is great to see he definitely deserves it even though I'm an Arsenal fan I can praise a player when he's doing well and Harry Kane looks like a very very good youngster and then we've got Zaza you guys might remember him from my Serie A road to glory which unfortunately I did have to end early because it wasn't working out for me um, but Zaza he's just gone up slowly as you can see here and he's now starting to really grab some of those overall points he's almost in the 80s now moving on we have Alan there a central defensive midfielder for Udinese he's gone up by two in overall and potential very well done to him he's clearly had a good few weeks and then we've got Vasquez here he's gone up by two one of the biggest upgrades of the week and uh, if you check out his stats they've gone up massively and uh, Palermo have a great little player there. Then you've got Emre Kolak. I I've definitely said that wrong. But for Galatasaray, he is the biggest upgrade of the week. He's gone up by four. But weirdly, his stats have barely gone up. The only stat that's really gone up is his penalties by 11. What the hell? And then we've got Doss. Now this guy, I think he's one of the top scorers in the whole world in 2015. He scored seven already, which is not too far off Messi and Harry Kane, I believe. So well done to Bastos. Definitely deserves his upgrade after the four goals against, uh, I was going to say against Wolfsburg, then against Leverkusen, which was absolutely incredible that game. And then we've got Uchida, did very well in the week, I think, against Real Madrid. He's gone up by one, which is great to see in my Schalke career mode. He was one of my favourites. We then got Neudstader, he's gone up by one, but his potential has gone down by two. What is that? That's so unfair. I think the main reason his stat has gone up, but his potential has gone down, uh, is a position change. I think he's gone from centre-back to CDM again. He was a centre-back for quite a long time in this uh, in this FIFA, but now he's gone back to CDM, and I, I don't know why potential has gone down. It's a little bit of a weird one, that. But um, this is a huge upgrade. This is Fekir. He's been linked with a lot of clubs, including Arsenal, actually. Um, whether or not that's true, I don't know. But he's gone up by two, including his potential up to 84. He is a very neat player and he's so young as well. And now the last one I'm going to talk about, De Shiglio. This guy has been one of the best right backs in the game in terms of career mode, being able to grow him into a superstar. He's gone down to 74 and his potential is still only 83. So it's a real shame. You can see here in the middle of FIFA, uh, FIFA 14, his potential was 88 and his rating was 77. And now you've got 74 and 83. What has happened with AC Milan and their players? I don't know. But there you go. That's the end of the video. In the future, I'm going to keep this a little bit shorter. It's gone on longer than I'd like. 
But if you like this series, please do drop a like because uh, I'll definitely continue to do this if you're interested to see the main upgrades and downgrades. Um, if you want to know where I got these stats or the website that I'm using right now, they're in the description. I use SoFIFA and I use Ultra FIFA. Those two websites are absolutely fantastic. So I recommend using them if you really do enjoy career mode. It's great to learn different player stats and all that stuff that way. So I'll see you next Saturday for another episode. Hopefully we'll be seeing some more upgrades because this week, I don't know, it seems like... It's been a lot of downgrades, but thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.